Hey everybody, it's Kyle with Anthem with today's Anthem Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be discussing using the Quick Measure tool built into Arc Genesis to help us place subwoofers into the room and also manage the gain on your subwoofers. So one of the best features of Quick Measure is it's our real-time analyzer. It gives us the capability of seeing the frequency response and the output for your speakers in the system and your subwoofers in the system. Placing subwoofers is one of the most difficult things to do in our industry. So having the real-time analyzer built into Quick Measure to help us do that is a very beneficial tool. What we'll wanna do is make sure we have our microphone at the primary listening position following all of our best practices so we get an accurate read of the room and the subwoofer's interaction. Once we have that microphone at that primary listening position, then you'll sweep the subwoofer built into the MRX X40 or AVM70, AVM90 model based on how many subwoofer outputs you have. That could be all the way up to four independent subwoofer outputs on the AVM90. So I'll use my example here at home. I have two subwoofers in my system. I have an AVM90. To help me find the best placement option, I was able to place a microphone at my primary listening position on my couch. I was able to sweep subwoofer one, which is my left XR13 subwoofer. And I was able to move that in the room to find the smoothest overall frequency response. And that's really what we're looking for when we're initially trying to place the subwoofer, is we're looking for the smoothest frequency response for low frequencies in the room. Once I found that position, now I can move to the second subwoofer output on the AVM90 with the XR13 on the right side of my system. Sweep that subwoofer as I move it throughout the room and I find the best possible placement option. Now in a lot of cases, it may not be an ideal location because it's physically in the way of maybe a door or it's physically in the way of another area of the room. So you will have to make some compromises. That's a huge benefit when you have Anthem room correction built into the subwoofer or you have Anthem room correction built into the electronics because we can help solve a lot of those inefficiencies using the powerful Arc Genesis calibration software. In my case here at home, I've got my two subwoofers flanking the inside of my front main speakers and that's where they're going to live both aesthetically and from a performance standpoint, it gives me the best of both worlds. Now that I've found the best placement option, I'm gonna use Anthem Room Correction Quick Measure to help me level out the gain of the subwoofers before I run Anthem Room Correction. What I'll do next, keeping that microphone at the primary listening position, is I sweep each individual subwoofer, and on my Quick Measure tool, I can see the output level of each sub. When I look at the output level, if I have one subwoofer sweeping, I want the subwoofer to be as close to 75 decibels as possible for the peak frequency output of that sub. So when you look across the curve, make sure the largest peak is as close to 75 decibels as possible. Once I've found that position, by adjusting the gain up or down, either on the subwoofer or if it's a paradigm subwoofer, you can use a sub app control built into the sub to allow you to adjust the gain. You found 75 decibels. Now, if you have a secondary subwoofer on an independent subwoofer model, like I do here on the AVM90, you'll do that exact same thing on subwoofer output two with the other XR13. Adjust the gain as close to 75 decibels as you can. A common question that we get is what if I don't have independent subwoofer outputs? So a good example would be an MRX 540 or 740 model that have parallel outputs for the subwoofer channel. In that case, if you have one subwoofer, you're still looking for that gain to be as close to 75 decibels as possible as you're adjusting the gain on the amplifier of the sub or within the app control. If you have two subwoofers on an MRX 540 or 740, at that point, you'll wanna look for that peak frequency output to be as close to 71 decibels as possible. You can continue with that method if you have three subwoofers as close to 67 decibels as possible. If you have four subwoofers, as close to 63 decibels as possible. Now, of course, if you have the AVM90 and it has four independent subwoofer outputs, you would wanna look for all four subwoofers to be as close to 75 decibels as possible for that peak frequency output. That way, whenever we go through the Anthem Room Correction calibration, it will normalize the gain level across all of those subwoofers based on if it's a parallel output or multiple independent outputs to get it as close to that 75 decibel target as possible so it seamlessly blends into your system. 